What's up guys, I'm Bormai, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the Stoner 63 today, uh, but first I did want to mention I had a lot of people ask me to do a Tech 9 verse video. I am working on it, I was in the editing process, and they went ahead and nerfed a bunch of stuff on me. Great, it was awesome. So now I have to repair or replace or redo a bunch of video for the Tech 9 verse video. That's coming, hopefully I'll get that out at the end of this week or the end of next week. Unless they nerf something else. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about the Stoner 63. This gun is freaking crazy, guys. I used to use this gun before. Um, then I switched to the Bruin back when the Bruin was the shit. And uh, I went ahead, was recommended I should try the Stoner again. I did. And let me tell you what, man. This gun is absolutely freaking awesome. You need to try it out. If you don't ever listen to any of my videos, trust me, you want to check out the Stoner 63. This gun is ultimately long range ultimate mid range ultimate i mean the damage on this thing no matter where you shoot is crazy the accuracy there's hardly any recoil using that four times uh cross does make the right recoil a little harder to use but i'm telling you what this gun is amazing first i want to talk about the ttk and dps and that is time to kill and damage per second if you're not familiar with that as you can see from this chart that I got from the True Game Data website, which I highly recommend you checking this out, I'll leave a link in the description below. These guys don't charge, but they do ask for donations if you feel like donating, and I highly recommend it. Let's keep this site going. These guys are amazing. They do a lot for the community, both of them. They're just awesome guys. Let's uh, let's talk about this. And I'll, the, the first chart I'm going to show you is a chest chart, and... That's because I like to hit in the chest first, center mass, and then aim for the head as I do. I just want to make sure I'm putting bullets in the hostiles and, and they're taking damage. Maybe they back off a little bit, whatever. That's how I like to do it. Anyway, as you can see, at just under 60 meters, this gun is at 0.7 seconds. I mean, this, that's a crazy fast TTK. And then if you look at 118 meters, you're still only at 0.84 seconds that's crazy fast the, the damage this gun does at range shreds i'm not kidding you just like the title said this gun is amazing I, i'm not kidding you're gonna like it so much now let's talk about headshots if you're a true beast and you can get those headshots even if you only get one in luckily this gun the the ttk and the dps drops dramatically even at 118 meters you get a couple headshots, and this is going to, you're just going to drop these guys, and they're probably not even going to know what hit them. That's how powerful this gun is right now. Like the video. Just, just like it. Thanks. All right, guys, for the build for the Stoner 63, I'm going to put that agency suppressor on. Of course, that is going to add your sound suppression and keep that pesky little red dot off of your enemy's maps. That way they don't see you when you're shooting in an area. And of course, it's going to help with the vertical recoil control, and it's going to add bullet velocity and effective damage range. The bullet velocity and effective damage range are very important to make this a long-range gun. Going to put on that 21.8 Task Force barrel. More bullet velocity, more effective damage range, and of course, a little bit more horizontal and vertical recoil control. I'm going to use the Royal and Cross four-time magnification scope. Uh, what this does is it makes... It very accurate at extremely long ranges. Um, and since it's not a sniper scope, I don't believe there's any glint on the Royal and Cross. And for the ammo, I don't mind the 75 rounds, and I really, really like to keep the ADS speed as fast as possible for this gun. So I did not put any additional rounds or any other um, outside of just the, the fast mag, uh, because all of them have an ADS penalty. So, like I said, I'm just trying to keep the ADS speed up on this gun a little bit. Um, and finally, I'm going to put on the Serpent Grip. And the Serpent Grip is to increase the ADS uh, speed. And, of course, you might be asking me, why aren't you using the Airborne Elastic Grip? Well, the reason for that is the mobility. To me, when you put on the Airborne, and yes, it will increase the ADS speed more than the Serpent Grip, but it comes with some movement penalties, and to me it was noticeable. I would say if you're using this gun and you're using that Serpent Grip and you're losing some mid-range gunfights due to ADS time, pop on that, that elastic wrap and it should fix it. Me personally, I like the Serpent Grip a little better. 
Here's a screenshot of the build in the standard traditional, you know, war zone build fashion. If you want to take a screenshot of this, go right ahead, save it, pause it, whatever you need to do so you know what you're looking at. So here's some gameplay with the Stoner 63. I just want to set up some reference. Um, this is that new trio mode, which is going to be awesome for leveling up guns. If you need to level up the Stoner 3, play that game mode if you don't have Cold War. Anyway, uh, the reference here is, because I didn't start recording until after we had been talking about this for a second, I just want to let you guys know. So I hired a, a Warzone coach from Legion Farms, a uh, video coming soon, just for some content. I thought it's, it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to like that one. But I kept making references to I've played with a pro gamer, and uh, it, it keeps coming up in this video. And I left this in here because I thought it was pretty funny, just, just to set up. Uh, you know, Dwight Schrute from my office, it's like, you paid to play with a pro gamer. Assistant to <laughs> the pro gamer. Assistant to the pro gamer, yes, there you go. <laughs> Lights out. That is the proper definition. Why did it take so long for this lobby to, is this game not popular? I've, I've never played this version before. It seems like it's uh, taken a really long time to uh, start the game Very here. Dude, this gun is un unbelievable. Aren't you glad I told you about it? You're welcome. Yeah. That's the assistant to the pro so, gamer coming you, out of you me. Could, you could almost say that was a pro tip. <laughs> assistant pro tip. <laughs> you guys are going to kill me with this. <laughs> you guys got to be in the air. Like no, the That's what I was telling you, dude. People, seriously? Come on. Like, Jesus Christ, I'm going to have, like, fucking... I'm gonna level up my gun 55 times before this game even starts. It usually happens to me all the time. That's a kill! Enemy into the AR. Oh! Now you oh, you bastard! Now for God's sakes. How many people? Yeah, okay, it's, it's finally gonna start! Oh, it's going down. Yeah, it's the... But the countdown started, so it doesn't matter. Why is this guy shooting at me? I thought we were gonna be friends! Uh -huh, you're dead now. Yes, we're not gonna be friends, that's okay. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll forgive you. Maybe he doesn't know that I've played with a pro gamer. I got him. Sorry, man. I didn't. I did not realize that that guy was there. Alright, we got a guy behind us. He's dead, got him. Allied cluster strike inbound. That's me coming in. Guy in the bedroom window. Enemy I got him. Oh my god, it's not the one behind me. How long is this game? Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Enemy dropping into the AR. Seriously, how's it not dead? We don't have much cover up here. Enemy dropping into the AR. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Oh, there's a guy right there. Yeah. Into the AO. Got him. Got him. Enemy UAV overhead. Ah, uh, we went down to second. Only by a point. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Enemy dropping into the AR. Here they come, I hear him. Down in the street. Oh, 
Oh, I got sniped. I don't know where. Alright, that was a good one. That gave us some points. Hey, yeah, the flag. We're the top. Back on top, so. Were they pushing up, monkey? No, he was, uh, he was at the bottom. Okay. He was at a building. Snipers are everywhere. Yeah. Just gotta keep moving. Yeah. Have the hill, too. Enemy UAV on there. One right by us. Yeah, he's, uh, this way. Marking way. I got him. I missed the train. I missed the top. He came, he jumped off. He's chasing you. He did. Contact. He didn't know I knew pro gamers. <laughs> Enemy he must coming. not have heard the word. He must not have heard about that. Right behind, Rob. Ooh, one guy's got a flag. Dad, it's team wipe. Good shit. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Your cluster strike on top of the building. Up. Oh, they're up above in the glass area. I knew that. I knew that it showed he was right fucking there. Mission one. I know. He can't get me though. Well, he got me. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Don't don't let him get you. Just closing in. Where is this guy? Tango truck. Calling for airstrike on my target. This is loader two zero. Let's strike away. Wow, I didn't see that dude. That was terrible. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. Enemy UAV overhead. How did these guys take the lead? That by that much, dude. Because everybody kept killing us and stealing our points. I can't even fucking land anymore. Ah, oh, second, dude. Oh, oh well, man. good shit. Good game. Hey, you too, bud. Hey guys, this is Ed about the Stoner 63. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find this gun very useful. I hope you guys really get a shit ton of kills with this gun. Unless, of course, you run into me in game, and then I hope you can't find the trigger, you run out of bullets, something happens, and I kill you. Till next time, I'm Bormai signing out, wishing you happy gaming.